So we're going to talk a little bit about what was achieved on the channel last year and what my plans for the coming year are. So last year I changed up how I was doing things significantly. I um, set up a new location for my storytelling videos and I started doing a lot more storytelling videos than I had been pre previously. Also, I made the biggest and probably best video I've ever made, the, the Changeling video. Now, it's done a lot better in terms of views and engagement than any video since I've started needing this has done. And outside of the algorithm, it's been received quite well, both artistically and academically. There's a there's an Oxford professor changing the conclusion of her book based on this video. I am When I think about that, my brain stops working properly. Not just an Oxford professor, but an Oxford professor whose research made up a large part of my source material for the video, so... Okay. So, yeah, last year it went fairly well, and I hit my goal of 3,000 subscribers. I have different goals for this year, and I have different things in mind and other changes I would like to make to how I produce my content. How I had started making weekly videos for most of the year, but I recently saw a video of YouTube advice by FD Signifier, excellent creator, you should go look, his, look at his content, and he said how creating very, very frequent videos and making very frequent uploads actually gives the algorithm more opportunities to fuck you over and can actually be bad for your channel if too many videos that you release in a row aren't um, very successful. So, building on that, I think I'm going to condense some of my storytelling videos. They're not going anywhere, they're still going to be happening, but I think I'm going to, instead of telling one story once a week, I'm going to tell two, maybe three stories uh, once or twice a month, and they will be contained within one video a month, instead of being spread out across several videos with one story in each video. I'm going to be doing some staging for that, I'm going to make it look quite nice. I'm going to make it into its own little thing, its own little series. It's it's going to have, probably Bulgeen is going to be in it. Bulgeen, the changeling puppet from the changeling video. Um, it's going to have a little narrative framing around it that I think will make it fun to watch and engage with. I have a big project for this year lined up that I will be working on in the background and I'm aiming to release next December or possibly in January, we'll see. Um, this video is going to be about fighting the ongoing effects of colonialism in Ireland and how folklore and storytelling can be used for that fight. So yeah, we're going to be talking a lot about things like generational trauma, we're going to be talking about how Ireland was colonized simultaneously by the English and by the Vatican. We're, we're going to be talking about the, the horrible effects both have had on our country and ooh, it's going to be, ooh, <laughs> it's going to be rough, but we're going to talk about it. We're also going to talk about how, um, Revisiting our folklore, going back into it, looking at it more, um, accepting it as part of our identity more, can help us in resisting being absorbed into white supremacist ideology. Fun! It's gonna be... Oof, it's gonna be a rough video. <laughs> 
I have some really good plans for it. It's going to be entertaining. I have a few people I want to collaborate with on it. I, I haven't spoken to them yet. Well, most of them. Uh, but if I get even a few of them, it'd be really great. So, yeah, that, that'll be fun. I do have a subscriber goal for this year. It's very ambitious, but I do think it might be doable if I get better at marketing myself. And it is 10,000 subscribers. I would like to hit 10,000 subscribers this year. I'm currently around 3,300. We'll see how that works out. <laughs> but that's what I would like to hit. I have a few. I have a few ideas in my back pocket that might help me get there. Um, I do want to make more content um, relating to my eye patch, bring back the Cyclops Chronicles a bit, um, and just kind of normalizing eye patches for for others who may need to wear them. I, I've been watching a lot of Kelsey Ellison recently. She's a if you if you don't know her, she's a she's an actor who has a YouTube channel but she is also missing an eye I believe it's her right eye I might be wrong um and she wears a she wears a glass eye and just recently she's started taking the eye out on camera she started making content about her eye and about disability representation in acting and I think it's amazing I think it's fantastic um and while I still have my bad eye it has still, I still have monocular vision, essentially, and that that has been that has meant a lot to me. So I think I I, I kind of want to help in doing that kind of thing as well. Actually, one of the things I achieved last year was I started doing weekly updates on my Patreon, and it is so much easier to do than just like. Working on a little bit every time you've got something done. Just, oh, here's some news! And just having a sectioned off day for me. It's usually Sundays, but sometimes scheduling at work changes around and I have to redo things. I've missed very few weeks. And having a scheduled day in which I'm doing that has been incredibly helpful. So I would like to try and get my Patreon to a point where I could live off it by itself. Uh, I have no interest in quitting my job right now, but I would, I would still like the option of being solely reliant on my Patreon. So I'm going to try for that. Speaking of Patreon, uh, we do have Patreon merch tiers now. They are designed by my good friend Sam uh, of Morea Paper, and they are based on Bulgine. Because uh, I knew... Once I got Bulgeen made, I knew Bulgeen was going to be a thing. When I came up with the idea of making a changeling puppet, I thought I'd use it once and then never again. But then I actually made Bulgeen and I realized, oh no, 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 this has to be a recurring character. People are going to fall in love with this monstrosity, so I need to work with it. So I commissioned the art for those merch tiers before the video was even finished. <laughs> um, so, goals for 2022. I want to hit 10,000 subscribers. I want to at least have the option of being fully reliant on Patreon for my income. I want to change up my storytelling style. I'm going to make the massive, ridiculous... Uh, Folklore versus colonialism video. And I want to get back into my weekly Patreon update schedule and maintain that throughout the year. I've taken a little break for January, as people often do, but I'm going to get straight back into it at the beginning of February. So that's, those are my goals for the year. I think, I think they're reasonable enough. I think there, there's, there's a possibility I can get there. Hopefully. And, and aside from the channel, I'd also like to, to do more storytelling events. Uh, online events, um, like being, being asked to do online events uh, for conventions or for festivals, events, that kind of thing. 
in-person events if they're they're safe enough I, I wouldn't mind some in-person events and yeah that's that that's what I would like to do for this year so thank you for watching I hope you stay safe as well as you can happy as well as you can and I'll see you next time so one more thing one more thing before we go unlicensed oral arts is moving here to the hog and dice channel now if you're unfamiliar with unlicensed oral arts it's a storytelling troupe that I am a part of with my friends Nisha, Shannon and Emily we were doing semi-regular live streams of storytelling now we're moving those live streams here for a couple of reasons number one we had a very low subscriber count on that channel and we decided we wanted more eyes on the live stream for the algorithm the other reason is that I need more eyes on this channel for the algorithm so it's beneficial for everyone involved so if you'd like to participate in evenings of live storytelling and we are looking for other storytellers especially POC storytellers then please do come along to some of our events you'll see them scheduled over the next few months they'll be coming up here on the Hog and Dice channel thank you